Let me tell you about a story that will mean absolutely nothing to you. You will have no feelings about this story. You will not be interested in this story in any way. But I want to tell you about it anyway. Here it is. Oscar-nominated star Elliot Page announces he is transgender. How do I know that means nothing to you? Because there is no such person as Elliot Page. That's not a person. It wasn't a person until yesterday. Apparently, Elliot Page is now a person. And this is how the journalists tell you this story. A person who is announcing that they are transgender and apparently are now, is now a boy, formerly a girl, now a boy, and they just tell you it's Elliot Page. Who the hell is Elliot Page? Elliot Page is not a person. You're, you're announcing a new person. Why would it be a news story for this person who apparently was Oscar nominated? I'm interested. Did Elliot Page get an Oscar nomination? I don't remember that. Does Elliot Page get to maintain the Oscar nomination that Elliot Page apparently now has? Why? When it was Ellen Page who was Oscar nominated. Ellen Page is now a boy, apparently. I, look, I don't care what Ellen Page does with her life. I don't care if she's a boy or a girl. However, she is Ellen Page, okay? That's who she is. She's Ellen Page. She wants to tell everybody she's Elliot Page. Whatever, fine. Maybe at some point we'll adjust to that uh, at our convenience, frankly. But at some point we'll adjust to that. But let me just beat up on the journalist part of this. You can't tell the story without saying Ellen Page has now trans has has has, uh, has, uh, has changed her gender and is now Elliot Page. You got to tell us who it is. I didn't know. I just saw the headline. It's like, who the hell's Elliot Page? I never heard Elliot Page. And then they show a picture of, El of Ellen Page. So Ellen Page is now Elliot Page. Why is that important? I don't know. I am, I am fascinated by it because it is so bad. Like, first of all, why does Ellen Page, it should be Ellen Page, if I call her Ellen Page, they will say I'm dead naming Ellen, she, uh, Ellen Page. There is no such person as Ellen Page. Ellen Page is gone. Well, if Ellen Page is gone, so are her Oscar nominations. So are her awards. So is all the, how about all the money that she has? Does Elliot start from scratch? I doubt she has to empty out her bank accounts because she's now Elliot Page. But all the, uh, we have to act as if now Elliot Page won those awards? We have to act as if Bruce Jenner didn't win the gold medals, but Caitlyn Jenner did? This is ridiculous. There is some level of, of factual necessity in life, okay? These are true statements. Ellen Page was Oscar nominated for something. Elliot Page has done nothing. If you're telling me Elliot, Elliot Page is some new person, well, the, the, I mean, I don't, do I, hold, I can't figure this out. I'm not supposed to acknowledge it's Ellen Page, but I have to acknowledge all of the accomplishments of this Elliot Page who didn't exist until today. Like that's something an insane society does. That's not the something a, a sane world can comprehend and then to just blurt it out like this Elliot this I mean does it not until you get to a couple paragraphs in does it say Elliot formerly known as Ellen Page well and it's all of course his like we all immediately are just supposed to just jump on this bandwagon and be like yes uh, he is transgendered now his Oscar nomination for that movie where he played a female and by the way how screwed up is that why is this white man taking roles from women? This white man who has played women all throughout his career, I don't think he's ever even played a man. He's taken nothing but women's jobs this entire time. Is that okay? I was told you have to play the exact thing you are because acting, if nothing else, is playing your exact... Only Howard Stern did it right in his movie Private Parts. He played himself, and that's the only thing you're allowed to play. You can't play anyone who's different from you because we should hire someone who's that person. None of this makes any sense, but that is the world you live in. Congratulations. I, this is just such a sad, sad story. You know, I swear, I swear and I've said this before, I don't know why I have a theory on this. This is not something I should have a theory on, okay? This should just be a story I never think of. But I have a theory. There's a certain amount of woke repentance you have to put in to, uh, to pay for past sins. Ellen Page made quite possibly the most powerful pro-life movie in history. 
She didn't mean it to be pro-life, but Juno was a freaking really good movie and also was pretty pro-life. You know, there's all sorts of things. You know, some some you know people don't like it on the pro-life side, but I I did like it. I thought it was a very effective thing, and it made people think. But for once, you're getting a Hollywood production um, where the person keeps the baby and uh, and and considers abortion and doesn't do it and is happy about that decision. These are things you don't see in Hollywood movies. Not to mention it was very well written and very funny. And she was great in it, by the way. I mean, he was great in it, by the way. But I mean, I swear, there's just like this constant. Ever since that happened to her her, him, it happened to her. Now he, they, constantly, she's made choice after choice after choice where she's played the most liberal roles uh, that you could possibly imagine. And she said the most liberal things you can possibly imagine. Now she's a he. I swear, it's okay that you made a movie that some pro-lifers like. Don't, you don't need to go this far. We all get it. And I will say this, Ellen Page might be Elliot Page now. Okay, that's what they're saying. But no man could have played the role she played in the movie Hard Candy. I don't want you to go look it up, but trust me, you don't want to look it up. And no guy could ever do what she did in that movie. It's not possible. So I, I will, I, she's Ellen Page to me. Maybe at some point I'll learn it. It's like, look, it's still the Washington Redskins to me too. I'm old school, okay? They're not the football team. They're the Redskins to me. I'm just, I, you know, it's still Aunt Jemima pancakes. It's still cream of wheat. None of this stuff, I, I just, I'm not going to roll with it. I can't help it. At least they're changing their brands. I guess Elliot is as well. So welcome to the world, this person we all seem to know so much about, Elliot Page.